everybody, I'm Yvonne Williams with Back to Earth Creations and in today's live stream I'm going to be antagonized by my beautiful husband, apparently, while well, the chickens laugh. Um, what you say? Hey! <laughs> but no, actually we're going to be painting dragon eyes in this live stream. Hey Mikio. Um, oh boy, get, and I'm so sorry I'm running late today. Um, it has just been... A little bit of an adventure, really, uh, today. <laughs> hey, Carrie. Hey, Joanna. Hey, Charlotte. Let's get this phone plugged in if we can. Yeah, more dragon eyes. Um, ooh, Karen says the notice actually went out. There we go. Get it plugged in. Are you charging phone? No? Now you are. Okay. <laughs> Okay, excellent. Uh, got the notice on my phone, but not on my laptop. Worth waiting for you <laughs> with coffee. Right on. Well, hopefully I wasn't... I was only like 15 minutes late. I'm so sorry. Um, So, I wanted to start off with announcements so we can let you guys know. I was a non-English person. <laughs> um, We are coming up on the Tandy Leather class. If any of you guys are in the area and would like to take... A, a class for me uh, at Tandy Leather in Springfield, Missouri on the 21st of April. Uh, I think, I don't, I didn't bring the sheet in with me. Uh, I will be teaching basics lacing and um, hey Adela, this is a new viewer here and I'm hooked right on. <laughs> um, what was I talking about? Beginner like intro to lacing and, and the morning class and then as the afternoon class, um, I am doing Oh man, I'm having so hard focusing, such a hard time focusing. Um, the afternoon class is a leather mask lined with thermoplastics. Oh, thank you. It's a nice nail polish collection. Um, and then the weekend after in West Plains, Missouri, the last weekend of April, we will be guests at OzCon. <laughs> hey, Carol. <laughs> I'm so happy to be seen. Right on. <laughs> But, um, yeah, guesting at OzCon, and then the following weekend, we will be at Anime St. Louis in Charlotte, St. Charles, not North Carolina, um, St. Charles, Missouri, real close to St. Louis. Man, come on, brain, we can do this. Yvonne, read my last comment, please. Sorry, y'all, please understand the amount of screen space I'm functioning off of. Just measured it literally this much. I can see four comments at a time. Um, if you would like to just stop by to tell you I'm sending you one of my special pearl necklaces, right on, Tina. Um, I'm here, I've been missing you like crazy, but I've been productive at the gallery. Right on, right back at you, Trinity. Oh, my little chickens are out in the yard. It's a beautiful day. I don't know how long this live stream is going to be. <laughs> um, because I've got some stuff that I need to do out in the yard. Like, need, I need to be outside. It is beautiful. <laughs> Michael says, hey girl, I've cleaned off more dragon eyes than I have made. It's still, you're learning something every time though. But I want to show you guys the dragon eyes from last week are nice and cured. And I'm actually going to get the camera moved over. Unicorns or dragons, just in general. Dragons. Dragicorns. Um, and those are a thing, right? So yesterday I introduced the new chicks to the big birds and one of the big birds screamed in their faces. So it was hilarious. Um, okay. Hey Rebecca. So flipping this around, how do you layer your colors? I'm actually going to be showing you here in this video, Michael. Oh, gloomy and rainy today. Your smile is a ray of sunshine. Oh, thanks, Marie. I would love a green one. How much? Um, I'm not sure, Tina, if I have any of these eyes left over. Um, hey, Becca. Well, to get attention, um, please type at capital Y, lowercase V-O-N-N-E, space capital W, and then Williams, um, just like how it appears, and that will highlight it in red and make it a lot easier for me to see. Now, I haven't backed these in black yet because some folks didn't necessarily want that. Um, there goes the window shutting itself. And there goes me <laughs> being startled. So I'm getting all of these eyes flipped over. 
and these are one inch in diameter or 25 millimeters. And these are all the colors that I had finished last Thursday. I'm gonna have to scooch the camera around to get the window back open. I didn't think I was gonna need Thing. Can you mention the brand of nail polish you prefer for your pupils again? Um, I really have no preference. I just prefer to put them on with a very thin brush. Uh, the thicker and darker, like a strongly pigmented black, is something that I typically go for. Um, if that makes sense. And these were the ones that we did with the PBO plant. Um, ooh, Charlotte says, need tutorials on using these dragon's eyes like charms. So that's how the PBO came out. And it gave a cool pattern, but not as cool as what it was on the back. So with these PBO paints being quite expensive, I don't know if I'm going to use them too much more in my eyes. <laughs> Acrylic Midnight Black works right on. Fresh cup of coffee straight from the Randy. Woohoo! <laughs> Having that lined paper does that help? Um, I think so. Whenever uh, I just want something, it's kind of like having a. Uh, I've been very busy making dragon eyes, so this is how they're kind of coming along. <laughs> but um, sometimes if I want to make sure that something is symmetrical, it really helps to have the. Uh, <laughs> Um, lined work surface, but that's how they're coming out. I really like those purple. Those green are nice too. Okay, setting that off to the side. Let me get this window back open. Hey, Gwen! <laughs> now, also, again, with how much I'm going to be... Oh, come on, window. I'm going to have to scooch the table off to the side. Mm -hmm. Ouch. How many have you done out of your 100? Um, only about half. So I have lots more painting to do. There we go. This old window doesn't want to stay open. It's just me, dogs. There we go. Sorry for super professional <laughs> video quality. Buying a dryer hose to put in my window. Oh, with a little fan that pulls out the chemical smell. That's a brilliant idea. Okay. And now we can hear the chickens and the uh, wind chime. And we can all just kind of chill out together. This is going to be a pretty chill tutorial video. Super cool. Hi, Yvonne Williams and everyone else. Hey, Lara. I haven't checked my email yet, just so you know. But I did get your text, like, right as I was getting onto the live stream. So, time to party. <laughs> yeah, so here you can see I have a bunch that have the pupils already painted. Um, fortunately, it is not so cold today that I'm going to freeze to death. Um, <laughs> I wasn't going to freeze to death anyways. But this is um, the Art Deco by LA Colors. These were sent to me by a friend here on YouTube. And, um... I think it's really great for being able to put just a small amount on the eye. And here lately I've really been enjoying just doing a little dot of the pigment there in the middle. Michael says, do you always let the pupil dry first? Typically I do, yeah. That way um, there's no like spreading or anything. But you also, I mean you don't have to, but uh, I feel like it gives me a cleaner result. Judy says, buy them at the Dollar Tree. Hey, Judy. But yeah, so I start with the dot and then pull the ends up. And then from there, you can actually shape it that way.
And this is one of my favorite ways to get a cleaner edged pupil. I am loving this wind chime. So there we are. Let me see if I can't get this lamp plugged in. Maybe that'll help. Because I burnt out the light, like the fixture and everything in the ceiling in here. So that's great. Okay. And I'm going to have to catch it coming in at a little bit of an angle. Because otherwise the uh, camera's right in my line of sight. What tool is that? This is an awl. This was the awl portion of a tool that was sent to me. Which is beautiful cast resin, I think. Done on a lathe. I love those shifting and stuff. And in one end, it has a seam ripper. And in the other end, it has an awl. And it's such a perfect, sharp little tool. It was just perfect for this. Okay, so that one's not quite finished. I need to fill it in just a little bit more. But for me, I feel like my artistic growth happens whenever I take something like pupils and do it like a hundred times. Um, you know, uh, just back to back, just chaining it, just drilling almost um, the techniques. But that's also just me being obsessive. So there's that one. There's a pupil. And then I'm gonna get the rest of these pupils painted and then, oops. Happy to hang out today. I love watching my guys. It's therapeutic. Right on. <laughs> yeah, so I can bring this up. Hey, Randy, are you in the room? He might be able to answer some questions for me. Mm, coffee, coffee, coffee. White chocolate mocha creamer today. Oh, that's really good. It's super peaceful today. Randy and I edited photos for like, gosh, like a million years. Um, hey, Nimu. Okay, Diana asks, how old are you? I think I'm still 29. Yeah, I turned 30 this year, woohoo. Hey, Randy. Are you in the live stream? You are now, I can hear me in there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so y'all, Randy might be able to answer some of y'all's uh, questions and stuff. So, and I'm back. Sorry, guys. Um, but yeah, I was saying we got sixteen images whittled down out of about a thousand two hundred. Um. And uh, we're going to get prints made of those and get those up for sale on our Etsy store. They will be released probably May 1st, if I had to put a date on it. Um, just because I don't want to sell out of them before OzCon, because that's kind of the only thing we're going to have for sale at OzCon. Um, but we also may be putting up pre-orders before then, but I know that they won't be shipping before May 1st. So, as always, we're going to have to play these things by ear. Nothing that I say is set in stone. <laughs> um, Diana asks, how long have you been doing this? Oh, I've been painting eyes like this for about mm, at least six years. Um, now, not always like this. My first eyes were, like, rough. Um, <laughs> like, super duper rough, though. Uh, sorry, I'm still just messing around in the camera. <laughs> Half a chicken nugget of internet exceeded. That is right. But yeah, I kind of like pulling that little bead of pigment out. And then kind of scraping from there. Come on, camera. I'm going to re-angle this light. A lot of what's going on right now is uh, bad lighting is making everything look fuzzier. Miko asks, will you start making your eye molds now? Will it be cheaper than buying them? Um, 
it's actually, I don't think it's going to end up being more cost efficient to cast the resin. Um, mostly because uh, I'm really bad at casting resin, actually. <laughs> like, getting consistent results about it, uh, like, not being sticky. And I think part... I think part of it is um, the, the temperature in the house is quite cold. Mm -hmm. And Amazon really does, Jody, have fantastic deals on the glass cabs. Is that any less foggy for you guys? Because I mean, the lighting in here um, is pretty... Resin doesn't do well if you bake with polymer clay either. That's really true, Emma. <laughs> Carol says, I hear your wind chime. How cool. I love that wind chime. <laughs> and I had the perfect spot for it. <laughs> your last mold video is pretty awesome. Oh, thanks, Mikio. But yes, temperatures do affect the outcome. Yeah, it's just, it's super, uh, super cold in the house. Um, like, probably about 10 to 15 degrees colder than what it needs to be for the resin to set. And so now I'm left with a bunch of, like, kind of half gummy projects. And I'm like, dad, nub it. I really like that one. Do you only use nail polish to paint them? I do just because I like the brush applicators being right there. Keeps me from having to clean out paint brushes in between. I really like a lot of the effects and things that I can get with the different nail polishes. And um, but uh, a lot of folks have you know ouch, requested and uh, recommended uh, burp, 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 acrylic paint. So it, you can use kind of whatever the techniques vary a little bit um, from medium to medium. Just because uh, some acrylics dry a lot faster. Some of them come down to a much more of a matte finish. And you can see that little bead coming down. I have a chainmail skirt question. I hope to have it in a triangle shape like a loincloth and the stop, top starts out... Um, great but then it gets yeah it'll get all kind of floppy um anytime that I do a chainmail skirt I try to keep it equidistant like a equilateral triangle um because that way there'll still be tension on the sides of the triangle if that makes sense which that's another thing that Randy and I need to do um probably in the coming week is coil and cut a bunch of rings um, for our Patreon packages. Um, and so that we can actually start making our own chainmail inventory again. There we go, our big hugs on and everything. I didn't get to notice you were on. Hey, Piper! <laughs> There's another one. Three more and then we can start laying colors. I prefer shiny nail polish as anything without shine makes them look kind of flat, I think. I'm right there with you, Sokin. The dimension that the metallics and the glitters and just the way it layers and stuff, it, um, I have not been able to directly replicate the effects that I get with nail polish with any other paint. Closest has been PBO, but price-wise, it's much more affordable, I think, to get a uh, dollar store nail polish. I don't know, some of these bottles of polishes get up there, don't they? Like... I think we spent like $8 on a bottle of uh, iridescent nail polish the other day, and I was like, oh, good lord. <laughs> ah, Gabby says, Bon, I bragged about you on my blog. You inspire me every day. Aw, thank you. That means a lot to me. <laughs> Diana says, you are so cool. Nah. I'm mostly just a swamp troll. Like, I'm sitting here, it's cold in my house, I'm wearing a pair of leggings and sweatpants, so I think that makes me, like, a double bum. Uh, <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, two pairs of not pants do not equate to being real pants. Um, <laughs> it's 
It's like two negatives make a positive, maybe? Is that how this works? I don't know. Last people. I'm gonna drink some coffee from last. But yeah, I don't know if the tripod arm will be in the way, but y'all can kind of see the garden a little bit. We still have not burnt that nasty burn pile. It rained for like a million years this week. I mean, listen to me complain. I absolutely love the rain. My onions, boop, doing so good. What did Lauren say? Test. I see you right in Randy. Oh, wind chime. Oh, so much love, wind chime. Okay. Do you do the entire painting with nail polish? I do. I like the nail polish. Tighten that clamp back down. I've loved you since I was five. Wow. <laughs> I know for and the stuff that you're seeing outside for the most part here isn't even grass. It's um stars of Bethlehem. Next month. I should be getting a whole lot of little white star-shaped flowers all over the yard because the chickens have been eating everything else. <laughs> Andrea says, how are the chicks? They're doing very well. They actually should be outside right now. I've been putting them out during the day, um, but it was a little too cold at night for them to stay out on their own because they haven't figured out how to go into their coop box yet. So they're still on the six-foot folding table in the kitchen. I play with them. There we are. Randy says I coddle them too much because I coddle them good night. <laughs> like I give each one little like mama snuggles before bed. <laughs> Have you started doing anything with the resin gems you've made? Um, not as much. Like I, I was in desperate need of um having something to give away to my patrons. Uh, so. <laughs> Um, a lot of my resin work has been going to the, uh, going to the patrons. Trinity says, uh, will she be sending out chainmail patterns in the craft crates? Um, I don't have any good PDFs of the patterns, but I will be putting out kind of a newsletter, um, specifically to the patrons talking about what is in the craft crates and what might or might, you know, what might be in your craft crate. Um, just because not everybody gets the same thing. And um, I just about broke my hand off writing over a hundred thank you notes. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to be writing out, you know, a hundred different letters uh, just for the sake of timeliness. But just about all of the uh, rings that I send in the chainmail kits go along with any of my chainmail tutorials. But I will be putting together a newsletter for you guys talking about like the hand cast resin and the sculpted polymer clay pieces and what gemstones you might be getting and all sorts of different stuff. So here I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five in a nice coppery fire tone. Oh no. Oh, Gabby. <laughs> That's all right. And I've actually added to my Amazon wish list. I was out browsing yesterday. Um, and uh, instead of doing like mold putty casts of some of the things that I sculpt, I'm going to start doing poured silicone casts of some of the things that I sculpt. That way, for those of y'all who follow along with me and are getting into resin casting, you'll be able to make resin casts of the fairy doors and things that I've sculpted. Um, now, in the giveaways, I will always be giving away the original, like the masterpiece, um, 
but I did want to be able to try to uh, kind of replicate some of my designs. Oh, what was that? I saw some red. Uh, do you prefer edging with colored polish instead of black now? Um, it depends. <laughs> I mean, honestly, it, it depends a lot. And um, I do like a little bit of a black edge on some of them. But on these guys, I just wanted to do copper. So it's a nice thing about getting to paint hundreds of eyes a month is uh, there's room to make everything. <laughs> But somehow I still find myself not being able to get to the stuff that I'm like, man, I really wanted to do that. Um, how much do you typically sell a wire-wrapped dragon eye for? Hope this isn't rude. No, not at all, Brianna. Um, our dragon eyes sell anywhere from 10 to 100, um, depending on how they're set or wrapped. Typically, my dragon eye bracelets, like in the uh, tutorials, I sell those for around 100. Um, it's, I, <laughs> not gonna, not gonna lie, I started off selling them same exact amount of work and everything uh for thirty dollars because i desperately needed money um and not that i'm not like you know don't get me wrong i will always be like yes more money please i i've crushing mushroom cloud of student loan debt to get out from underneath and all sorts of things but now it's to the point that uh whereas before i was charging thirty dollars and you know uh you know we'd sell some but now it's, I can't keep up with production of them even charging a hundred dollars. You know, it's to kind of slow down the sales of it and it didn't really slow them down. So I can't even keep up with that kind of production now. So y'all have been kind of too good to us in how you're being so supportive, but I can't quite keep up. So, um, and I didn't want the quality of my work to suffer as a result of kind of just like knocking them out, like bam, bam, bam. Lots of, uh, lots and lots of dragon eyes. Do, do. Ah, Melissa says, still loving my gnome print. Right on. <laughs> so, in this one, this was actually a Mary Kay nail polish. This is the first time I've ever used any nail polish by Mary Kay. And it seems to have a really nice, strong pigment. It lays on really smooth. And that gold gradients perfectly into, uh, into the edging. Now, for the unset eyes, um, I sell our 50 millimeter eyes for 50, um, and then kind of like decrease in price from there, but our small ones, they start at 10. Again, though, this is, I feel like my, my prices are super inflated from what they used to be, just because I can't keep up with, uh, the demand. <clears throat> And so now whenever I post stuff, I kind of just post it <clears throat> directly to Etsy for whatever I'm charging at the time. And then if somebody wants custom work, uh, I try to have the price reflect that. You know, that it's, um, <clears throat> I'm not going to charge somebody $50 for an eye that has two colors on it, you know. <laughs> right on, Andrea. <laughs> yeah, I still need to do some of those for you. I'm so sorry. I've been just just all kinds of scattered in a bunch of different directions. It was very, I mean, not quite tumultuous, Azimuth moving out, but I mean, the stability of the house changing, the dynamic changing. I have a weird get, but I love it. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> I think your pricing is more than fair, so often us artists undervalue ourselves. And that's true. Uh, thank you. <laughs> like, that means a lot. Um... <laughs> Smelly Negro. Oh. You. Oh. Block. Somebody that started out and you're humming a sonic. All right, on. All right, Dawn. Um, it's so hard to get people to understand that we do deserve to get paid for the work we put into our products. I never make money on materials, just on labor, right? I won't need a tissue again today, will I? Hey, Penny. No, I hope not. <laughs> hey, Dawn, can you have a calendar of your live streams? I hate missing them. Um, Bethany, uh... 
We will be having live streams every Tuesday and Thursday, typically around 2. So, no calendar needed too much. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I kind of uh, couldn't hold it together on Tuesday, you guys. Sorry about that. <laughs> But I, it was just, and it's been a cumulative effect. I've just been pretty steadily overwhelmed. Um, hey, Jenny. Yeah, Gabby says the notifications are working again, so that's good. That's uh, kind of hit and miss, though, on YouTube's part. Because we've been live streaming pretty regularly for over a year now. And um, it's it's been hit and miss for a long time. Oh... Yeah, I've been holding that back for a year, Penny. <laughs> okay, so that's how these are coming along. I'm going to put in a little bit of... Look at this one. <laughs> yeah, right. Horace says, when is anything working on YouTube? <laughs> Absolutely. I wouldn't have missed it. Been glad to see the community here grow. And it, it's really blown me away. Oh, what's going on outside? Getting just a little bit of a color shift. I hear you, Chicky Bird. Yeah, this is easily my almost one of my favorite room in the house now. Um, because I can hear the wind chime and the Chicky Burbs. And it, it's a little bit, it's a green gold color shift. This one, it's Revlon Chroma Chameleon. It doesn't say, oh, it's rose gold is the uh, color. Oh, Gabby. Uh, what site do you sell on or do you just do craft shows? Uh, Brianna, I um, I also sell on uh, Etsy. I'm going to take a little bit of this very yellow gold. This was actually, excuse me, which was their, uh, like a very pale, bright yellow. Um and added in some gold prolex pigment. So I'm going to take this and I'm actually going to stipple like splotch around the eye. Just blot 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 like that. The cops just rolled up on Vaunt, right? It wasn't me, probably maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Sokin says, do you put beads or something in the polish to help it shake shake up? Um, a lot of them come with the little uh, beads in there, but you can, like, um, don't just get the zinc plated. Like, you have to get, like, a uh, stainless steel shot. Like, usually the tumbling medium that I use whenever I'm tumbling things, I'll put in there and shake around. Because um, the zinc will kind of oxidize a little bit. But you can see it leaves a little bit of, a like, a texture. And so now I'm going to be coming through with this color shift, which, especially for beginners, I highly, highly recommend using color shifts just shamelessly because <laughs> they look so cool on their own. That, um, a lot of this next design I'll do, actually, I'll have be just a plain old color shift. You know, I say plain old, but it's like, like plain old color shift, but it's it looks really cool. So I'm going to have to set that off to the side. I'm going to stuck my arm in it. Now, something here is you're playing around with the surface tension of the polish. You don't want to put so much on that it starts running off the edge of the eye. But you do want to put enough on that it's going to get a good float going on. Because you can see kind of the uh, texture and patterning 
<clears throat> in this um in this eye I'm sorry and I do I do kind of want to say to you guys um in the crafting tutorials now the conversations move a little too quickly for me to keep up with so that's why Tuesday I don't really do any crafting I just uh Q&A with you guys as much as I can so here lately the mail opening's taken over most of it. <clears throat> but um I need to actually get some crafting done with y'all. Uh so that's why I'm not uh engaging as much with the conversation as as what I typically do, but and I miss it, but just poking up my head and seeing a few comments here and there gets me by. <laughs> do you suggest starting out on Etsy? Um <clears throat> I don't not suggest it. Um, whenever starting out, I really recommend casting a broad net. Try as many different platforms as you can. I mean, Etsy charges like 20 cents per post and they take a fee when it sells, but it, there's not like a monthly website fee. There's not, you know, kind of anything like that. Um, so there's no reason to own exclusively go with Etsy. Uh, is what I feel about it because there are some folks who have had much better success on Etsy than I have and there are other people who are like I've had an Etsy for years and I've never sold a thing so it's different things will work for different people <laughs> right on Gigi uh, Penny says oh my god the chimes it's been years since I've heard any <laughs> no it will through the storms we were having it sounded like somebody was out there just shaking them for all they were worth but uh, today's like perfect chime intensity. <laughs> yeah, Mikio says Facebook works for me, and it's um for me. I, I've had a lot of success just kind of redirecting everything over to my Etsy, um, and going from there. So uh, if you're starting out, um, pick you know whatever you pick, whether it's one thing or multiple things, um. Just try to be consistent with it. You may not get any sales in the first couple of days or even in the first couple of weeks. So, hey, Kilburn. For Etsy, you have to have a specific niche. And, Marie, that works for, for some folks. But, again, it's I do all sorts of stuff. Um, and it kind of, you know, still works out okay. Okay, so I'm picking another five eyes. Do, 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 do. Yeah, and it's, I don't know, uh... Oh, what's up, cheeky butt? Um, Facebook, for me, it's like, I don't, I don't really get on there. It crashes my phone. Uh, like, I can't do Facebook Messenger anymore, and that was a way that used to. I did most of my, uh, custom work, you know, talking to clients and stuff. So for this one, I'm gonna do purple. I'm gonna have this purple, which is a kind of nice, just, I don't know, plum or something. <laughs> Chicky butt. <laughs> and then I'm going to fill it in with this one here, which I love because it's very similar. It reminds me of Labradorite whenever it's on the uh, on the glass. And this one is oh, what's the color name? Gray's Anatomy by Wet and Wild. <laughs> Um, how durable would you say rubber rings are when making chainmail bracelets? Do they break often? Do you have to take care of them? They're pretty durable. Um, we offer free repairs on all of our work, and over the years we've only had a couple of people bring them in that, like, a ring got snagged on something, or, um, if you submerge them in vegetable-based oils, the, uh, EPDM will break down, um, and you'll have, like, a dry rot problem with your rubber. Uh, but other than that, they're pretty durable. <laughs> okay, so not doing that one yet. I'm going to go through, what is a Square store? Um, Square is the little swiper app. Like, it's um you can plug it into your phone and take credit and debit cards at um, craft shows and conventions and stuff. And they also host websites now. And that's, I actually have my store through Weebly, but if I had not set up through Weebly already and were too lazy to transfer over, um, I probably would have gone with Square Store. 
because it's really nice to have kind of all of your money going through one spot. Um, and Square's been really great. But uh, my Weebly takes PayPal, and that works out pretty well, too. So, darkening down the edges. Rebecca says, hey, Yvonne, are you going to try any with acrylics? I am, just not this one right here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and it globbed off on me. And see, I was going to try to do really fine lines, and then it came off all goopy. So, this one's going to have goopy lines. <laughs> Comes and goes and waits Okay, so here we are. Sorry, zoned out for a bit. Um, we've got the edging down, and so from the front, it's just a real gentle kind of feathering. Ooh, Vaughn, I'm making crocheted foam cases. Would you like one or two, or maybe like 20? Um, I, I don't honestly know if I would make much use of one. My phone goes through some pretty serious muck, like a I drop it, like, all the time, and out in the yard, there's so much, like, chicken poop and everything everywhere that, like, I keep it in an otter case, um, because anything else just kind of gets decimated. Um, <laughs> bye, Kirsten, thanks for hanging out with us. <laughs> so now, I have the edging down, and the pupil's dry, and I'm just going to really work up the, uh, enamel, and then pull it out and let it start dripping. It's supposed to get more than that. If you actually fan the brush out a bit, it's going to hold a lot more, but you have to do it faster than that. See how it like globs on? <laughs> okay. Now this uses up quite a bit, but there's no scratching involved. There's no kind of anything straightforward not complicated and that's really nice and then you just let it settle and you can see how the pigments in it will start to uh... sorry I'm having a hard time focusing yeah I'm just gonna do a bunch of these because if you do it too thin, it will maintain brush strokes. See how it kind of sits like that and you can really see through it? Have you ever used the Vintage Patina paints? I haven't. I actually just saw those in Hobby Lobby. I was like, what was this? Because I thought they were alcohol ink. 
<clears throat> but I don't know. I'm pretty sure they're not alcoholic. <laughs> I taught some later night drinking craft streams. <laughs> I never laughed so hard at Cream Corner, right, Brandy? <laughs> Yeah, hopefully we'll kind of get to see those come together, but um, it's become a little bit of a struggle, and I, I really don't want it to seem like I'm complaining, because I'm 100% not complaining. Um, it's been really difficult to struggle having any kind of personal life with work, um, and uh, live streaming is just a small part of that, but we're constantly, um, you know, every minute of every day it feels like um, Randy and I are working. Um, you know, I either have him on projects or he's off doing his own thing or, you know, or, you know, I've got him helping me with something, but it's every single minute. And so I was, I looked at him, I was like, we need to just do some stuff. Just you and me, man. I miss you. And so we've started going on walks again in the evening is usually our time to do that. So, um, until I can find a little bit more of a work life balance, uh, I'm not going to be bringing on any more workload than what we currently have. Hmm. Not alcohol ink, but permanent paint for non-porous metals. Hmm. Materials, typically metal. I'll have to try that. That might be really cool. I mean, glass is non-porous. Hey, pretty kitty. Get on there. Oh, she ducked down. What you doing, Ember? Oh, I was going to try to catch the cat. Look out the window at the chickens. <laughs> She's a good girl. But now, like, I haven't been practicing with a guitar. I hardly do yoga anymore. I have, like, a lot of the things that, you know, are things that I do just for me, um, don't get done anymore. But I have these obligations, you know, to my patrons, to my videos, to inventory, to conventions, to, you know, um, all sorts of stuff that it's like, something's got to give. And I hope it's not me <laughs> that ends up giving. Or given out, rather. Ember is loving being a single kitty again. I hear you, chicky bird. Like, I thought we had scheduled ourselves more sparsely, but three weekends in a row we have events. <laughs> and I was like, I wanted to just do one weekend a month. <laughs> and it's right when I should be putting the garden in the ground, and I'm like, oh, man. But... <laughs> You know, Ember is much happier being a single kitty household. Mm -hmm. Ooh, um, I haven't, Carrie. I haven't really been on Instagram much. Like, it's, um, I try to do daily social media posts, but other than that, um, like, I don't get to kind of scroll through and like things or, like, I, I use social media more as a tool to again, hold up my work obligations than to, uh, socialize. Okay, so we got done with those purple ones. So now let's check out. Let me see if I can't zoom out. You gonna zoom out for me, phone? There we are. There we are. Okay. Seasons. <laughs> Christine says, I watched your fluid acrylic video. Enjoyed watching your reaction. <laughs> right on. And so this is how the front looks. And there's not really a whole lot of that green happening in there. That is a really nice, just golden eye. Ooh. Shelly, that sounds beautiful. And then... Yeah, very, very subtle in the greens, and the camera isn't really picking up on it. And then whenever I get done painting this next batch, ah, oh, hey artist, since I'm new to wire wrapping, I really enjoy your tutorials. Yay. <laughs> I haven't tried any without the scratches. Oh, they're a ton of fun. They're great for kind of like alternating um, the intensity. Like, that's dry enough, I can flip it over. Okay, so you can kind of see how that color shift happens. And it'll look really cool like whenever the spots and things dry. Golden Eye was James Bond. <laughs> -da 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 -da. Is that the Golden Eye thing? I don't know. Okay. 
So I guess I can do one real quick and I know I'm actually I'm going to do a separate tutorial on the acrylics and have it be parallel like side by side uh, comparable color and texture of acrylic to nail polish just to see the differences. Hey Sam, how's it going? Oh, it's good to see you. And so I'm going to do another color shift, only this time it's going to have this really nice purple, like magenta to purple. And then, oh, here she comes, she might, what's she going to do? Oh, there's that kitty. Oh, caught on camera. <laughs> oh, and little ears, and little whiskers, and little jelly bean toe paws. Oh, I see you being a kitty. I don't want to bother her, but she's so have to bother her. Oh, she didn't even mind. Pity kitty. Yes, you are. She's a little alcoholic. She's got water on her face. <laughs> yeah, someone has a drinking problem. You get it all over your face. <laughs> okay, back to painting. So I've got this one here. And then where's that little pinky purple? Oh, that's pretty. Look at that one. I'm going to do that one, and then I'm going to fill in the center. <laughs> when you have time, I post on the Facebook Back to the Creation page a picture of my most recent pair of earrings. Right on. I'll try to check that out. Mm, where's that color, though? Vaughn, what'd you do with it? I keep hiding on my shit. Oh, is this it? What's this? That's pretty, too, though. Oh, I like that one. Okay. <laughs> So trying to do a whole eye out of like just color shift. I don't know what those chickens are laughing at. I guess being birds is just hilarious. <laughs> oh, chicken. Fly me to the moon and let me play among the stars. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Here, I gotta put this away. Kara says, I just want you to know that I greatly appreciate every single video and tip that you do. The Yarn and Defer was your first video I watched and I've been hooked. Lol's yarn jokes or yarn puns. Um, <laughs> I'm glad you like them, Kara. I really appreciate you hanging out with me. <laughs> hey, Tia in Texas. Man, I'm envious. I hear my neighbor mowing their lawn. We need to mow our grass so bad. But our lawnmower is dead. And the weed whacker is dead. Um... <laughs> What is the hardest part when starting an art business? I have a mental disorder and art is all I have. I want to go into business for myself with my art, but I don't quite know how to start up. Um, that can be really difficult. Holy crap! Callie, what? <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. Callie just said, take your man on a date or take a break. Not allowed to give out. You can always reduce your workload in the interest of your health. We adore you and are happy just to have your wonderful personality in our lives. Oh my God. Thank you. Yeah, what, is you bringing me food? Yes, I want a fat boy. Oh. <laughs> well, hey, Randy, will you come eat ice cream sandwiches with me? Ouch. Why no? He's not going to eat ice cream sandwiches with me. <laughs> listen to her or we will all revolt that's fair so I'm gonna sit here and awkwardly eat an ice cream sandwich at you okay so have you guys this is why I will never be a fitness model among other things um they are the best ice cream sandwiches in the whole wide world and this one is in today's calorie budget so I'm gonna eat it but look at that it's like beefy <laughs> but thank you so much Callie we really we really need that um 
I don't have a trash can in here. Just hide that on the shelf. Um. <laughs> oh, wow, Sam. Oh, congratulations on getting certified. <laughs> okay, so we can do some Q&A for a minute while I make mouth love to this ice cream sandwich. <laughs> Randy and I had breakfast cereal like eight hours ago. So, lunch. Oh, and I had a cheese stick, I think. Did I eat it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I'm really excited about, you can see that color shift. <laughs> I'm fasting, this is killing me. Uh, I was about to do obscene things with the ice cream sandwich, and then I thought better of it, because, uh, uh not torture you, Gabby, you're too nice to me. <laughs> but this is amazing. Um, yeah, how to start a business. Um, make something, and... If you have a Facebook page or if you have an Etsy or anywhere, wherever you are most active and have the most people who know you, um, that's your first ring of people, like your first sales are going to be your to your innermost ring, the people who love you and know you um, and everything. Um, and then you'll be able to kind of build out on that. Um, but a lot of it that I, uh, from people that I've met and seen, it's like the hardest part has just been making something and posting it for sale. <laughs> Penny. <laughs> may or may not be licking the screen right now. Mmm, so good. <laughs> um, um, num num. Okay. Um, Randy. Uh, Randy and I were on the way back from uh, dropping the rest of Azmuth stuff off, and um, I was eating my sandwich. And he was like, I was taking a bite, and he'd go like, hum, yum, yum, like making sound effects for me as I was chewing, and I almost died. <laughs> uh, there you go, Laura. Oh no! <laughs> My big old chocolate covered tongue. That was horrific. I'm so sorry. <laughs> the Sonic wash. <laughs> yeah I also like part of me really wants to just like grind chocolate into my teeth and then be like and like just chocolate teeth <laughs> I should check out Rio Saras here on YouTube for tips on acrylic pore paintings I'll do that I need some help <laughs> do poo mouth <laughs> I'm cheating on my husband with chocolate. I know I can't really do poo mouth. This isn't. You need a thicker like you need like a ganache to do a proper poo mouth. <laughs> I'm on a medical leave from work and I've been out of work for three months. Oh man, so I don't have a ton to share, but the support of a great guy. You're just the best. Oh, Callie, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Wolf well, Spain, I have seen. The white henna is beautiful. I think it's more like um, akin to a temporary tattoo ink. <laughs> Asmuth moved back home. Yeah, no, Asmuth went back to his house. Um, it was, for the winter, it was only a temporary thing. Oreos do a good poo mouth. Have y'all ever had Oreo truffles? Those things are amazing. How? <laughs> oh, Tia. <laughs> Maybe we can catch a different... So yeah, it's very purple from this angle and from this lighting. The camera just really doesn't do a good job of... But then whenever you catch it from this way, does it look... Nope, still looks purple. Cause to me, it looks green. There's no winning. Um, hey, Reservus! <laughs> Fried Oreos? I've never had that. <laughs> Are Nora in here? Hey Lauren, I miss you already. 
You're at my house for like a week and now you're gone and I'm sad. <laughs> this is not quality entertainment. Um, obviously I'm wondering chrome powder or unicorn powder. I'm not sure what those are, Deathbird. <laughs> Did Randy send you pictures of the prints that we settled on? <laughs> Holy crap, Sarah. Hey, Sarah. <laughs> Back to work. Okay. That was delicious. Um. <laughs> I got some food to go to bed. Bye, everyone. Bye, Soken. Can't believe a poop mouth licked my ice cream cone. <laughs> it's not quality entertainment or it's torture. <laughs> Is it quality torture at least? Like, I mean, I've got standards to maintain here. <laughs> You're going to attempt to send you another cup bottle. Oh, okay. Hopefully you kept the insides from the broken one. I have. By the way, the wind catcher is made from melted pony beads. Really? <laughs> um, an idea on shipping the bottle. Um, maybe if you, uh, pack it full of, like, newspaper or something um like if that makes sense because I mean I was so sad but I mean it was beautiful and I do still have the insides <laughs> definitely high quality torture right on well <laughs> there's an ice cream sandwich break you know I have meal prepped salads in there in the fridge that are about the same amount of calories as a freaking ice cream sandwich. Oh, I should have had a salad. No, that was good. Bubble wrap. That's a good idea. Hi, Kindred. I'm just heading out to pick up my brand new Subaru Forester. Wow, right on. Drive safe. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sarah says, cheat days are worth it. I've been like on a cheat decade though. I really need to get my act together. Shallad, shmallad, ice cream's too bad to be had here, <laughs> right? No, it's actually, I really enjoy a good salad. I just, I kind of hate iceberg lettuce. It is, like, the most boring of the lettuces. And so for the longest time, I thought I didn't like salad. And it turns out I just don't like iceberg lettuce. But, like, spinach and, like, spring greens, absolute favorite. Super yummy. And, like, if it's got chard in it or, like, baby kale, um... Like, I mean, super yummy. Like, I mean, interesting tasting and textured salads. And then, of course, with, like, a bunch of, like, veggies and stuff. Like. I like a good veggie bowl. With some avocado. And some baby carrots. Do, 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 do. Worked out for the first time in a while yesterday, push-ups and sit-ups, and had trouble reaching for my tea this morning. So not worth it. Oh, no. Vern. <laughs> hey, lion. You got this, though, Lara. <laughs> you got to be prepping for that tough mutter, I do think. And the phone is just not picking up on any of the greens. You need it. <laughs> I don't like salad. I like veggies with ranch. That's fair. Because <laughs> I do, I really love some, Randy and I call it white gravy. Um, 
ranch dressing has a time and a place and I understand it's not everywhere on everything but it's easier said than done um but uh I actually started like ranch comes like super thick and creamy um so I measure out like the uh you know the serving the two tablespoons of ranch and then I actually water it down and mash up my avocado into it that way it spreads it a little further um but still stays within my calorie goals I'm like super motivated to get my butt in gear and like it's not necessarily about looking a certain way because <laughs> Randy loves me like he's never been like oh you need to lose weight or you need to gain weight he just he's been super supportive and accepting so much every step of the way but um I really want to maintain like you know a long life as long as I can I mean my dad was 48 when he passed away and I take after him so much. Um, ah, ah, crap. Um, panic, panic, panic. What am I going to do? I got to finish this eye. And then what am I going to do? Um, quick. Funnel it back into the bottle. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Bum, dun, 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 dun. No use crying over spill perfume. <laughs> Use your white tray. Okay, well I was able to salvage quite a bit of it. I was gonna try to like mop it up with an eye, but I'm like, this isn't gonna end well for anyone. <laughs> Ooh, roasted veggies, yes. Also, just wanna say, hey Randy, do you see? <laughs> okay, that's enough. No more jokes about pills looking like genitalia. Um, oh, well I'm glad you like the wind chime. Hey Randy. Oh, no, I wiped it up. Don't hit me with a roll of paper towels. I love you. Don't bonk me on the head. You're starting to with a palette this time and then you do this. <laughs> I didn't mean to dump it all over the table. <laughs> Oh, there is a certain joy to be derived from antagonizing Lara, though. Just a little bit. <laughs> yeah, right, Michelle? I hear that. <laughs> she pulled up on. <laughs> yep. Oh, and I didn't quite mean to do that. Dump in the back all over that one. That one might get scratched. I guess that's just what will happen this way. <laughs> Putting a nice little glitter pink. Why are you painting eyes? Hey, Barry. Um, I'm actually painting up eyes. These will be going to my Patreon packages for um, my supporters. I do monthly craft crates. And this month, as a way of giving back, I wanted to be able to send an eye in every package. Um, which means I'm going to need, like, way more eyes. Um, so, <laughs> so we'll kind of get this together. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> um, Tinker, I get my glass cabochons on Amazon. If you visit any of my uh, eye painting tutorials, I'll have links down in the video description um, where that you can click on and uh, purchase your own. Oh, that one's really nice, though. Okay. Sorry, it crashed. Um, do you wait until they're fully dried before scratching the eye? Sometimes I do. Uh, you'll get cleaner, um, straighter lines if you wait for them to dry before they're scratched. But you can get a goopier, nice, like, blended line if you do it while they're dry. Now these ones, I usually back my eyes in black. These ones, since it's a translucent, 
uh, color that I'm painting with. Uh, that will work for baking it, Piper, I do think. The eyes look like fursuit eyes. They can definitely be used for those purposes, too. Though I would, I personally, for a fursuit, would use like a uh, 50 millimeter or larger uh, uh, cabochon. Where do you puzzle pieces day? Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> Thanks so much, Crafty. You guys are so kind and generous to me. Thank you guys so much. Like, really. Oh, there goes a the bird. Okay. And it's a little too runny, but might be able to... Again, the camera just won't pick up on the greens very well. But, um, it has been... Sorry guys, it keeps booting me, but um, it's been a little over an hour, so I think I'm going to go. Um, I will have pictures of the eyes coming up on Patreon and my different um, social media and everything, but thanks guys so much for hanging out with me during this video. Um, thank you so much for your continual like kindness and generosity and all kinds of things, but um, I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Oh no, strange brew! <laughs> um... Oh, uh, thanks for popping in, but bye, everybody. Give yourselves a big hug from me. Mwah. Bye. <laughs>